got two drinks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I can decide between the wine or the San Pellegrino. Ah, oh, well, bottoms up. Cheers, everybody. Come here. Clink. Cheers. Cheers, and welcome to the 30th episode of the Elder Scrolls Oblivion Let's Play. Lots of episodes of the Elder Scrolls Oblivion Let's Play. Lots of episodes, holy crap. Um, each one of these is about 30 minutes long. That's 30 times 30 is about 900 minutes we've uploaded of <laughs> Oblivion Let's Play. God damn. That's a lot. That's a lot. Hello, Associate. It seems you've obtained the final recommendation you required. I have received recommendations from all the local guild halls in Cyrodiil. You've done well for yourself. You may now enter the universe. Oh, oh my God, it feels so good. As a member of the mages. Yes. Guild, I now also promote you to the rank of apprentice, uh, apprentice and grant you the robe of the apprentice. Probably gonna throw Take out. a moment and try it on. Then we shall right. speak of what comes next for you. That is so satisfying. I don't know. You've got a pretty bad reputation. Why don't you go pick some flowers? <laughs> Why don't you go do this? And oh that? God, no! And now finally. Oh Yay. yes, Max Apprentice Robe. <laughs> we come to the real work at yes. last. You have no doubt seen some of the worst the guild has to offer. As much as we try to hold mages to a higher standard, they are only human. What I hope you will now see is that while the guild can be disjointed and misused, it can also achieve some wonderful things. Now you have an opportunity to engage in more meaningful tasks and continue with your advancement through the guild. Wonderful. All right, cool. Um, yeah, advancement. You do oh, not okay. get <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself Before there. Before you can begin work for the guild, you'll need to do something for yourself. Every mage carries a staff. Go. It is crafted and enchanted by the guild. You have to go get the special wood for make, it. Yeah. The wood used for staves, staves. comes. Right. Stave wood. You already have a task. You shall have a true mage's staff. This beer is great, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned it in the intro just now, but this is Modella Negra. I feel like you've mentioned it before. I have I mentioned I it? I, I mentioned it. We're, we're, we're drinking all the, the we're drinking a red wine, Modella Negra, and their San Pellegrino, all the uh, the oh, Fabro staples. I know I drank the Four Peaks Peach Ale. Oh and yeah. And I mentioned that, and I mentioned the Buchanan's whiskey in the 50K <laughs> video. I but this? Those. I don't think I've mentioned this yet. Uh, I feel like it was in a, a private selection or something. We were both drinking them. But I don't Cerveza know. Modelo Negra. Well, if I haven't mentioned it, bears repeating, okay? It's a good beer. It's, it is, it's, it's delicious. a very good beer. Nice winter beer. I don't drink that much beer, but that one I do. Yeah. Nice dark beer. Yeah! <laughs> like I keeled over. Yeah. Hey, when will you be able to use Fingers of the Mountain? I think that's a pretty cool. Oh, do you have to I get totally your destruction up more? Or, uh, there. Ah, yeah, we can't use it yet. Um, I think we need to up our overall magica. I'm not sure. Magica, whatever. However you pronounce that. It's pronounced chitin, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I went back oh, and, uh, my. if you guys remember from the first, uh, episode we did, there... There's, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, if you guys remember from the first episode we did, somebody, uh, like, you guys corrected us because we accidentally called it. We didn't know it was called Chitin or whatever. Chitin. Charis Chitin. You know, the ch it's pronounced Chitin. And actually, the other day, this was back in, what, June or July we started it? The other day, somebody commented, another correction, Jesus like Christ. two days ago. <laughs> it's pronounced Chitin. Yeah, they, they go to comment before they look through the five top comments. <laughs> and it's okay. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, now I know. Now I know. Six the months later, I was still wondering, man. <laughs> Kill Joffrey, evil Joffrey. Dark Joffrey. Made a sickly and flubber. Dark Joffrey, I don't even care about the Amulet of Kings. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is really very scary, Dark Joffrey. Oh. Yeah. Fleeing! Oh, I thought he died. Look at him. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, goddamn. God, pretty, pretty uh, <laughs> strong if he's flinging that mace underwater with such yeah. force. We gotta wait for the. Oh, okay. I didn't mean for this to. This is really uncomfortable. Let's get out Let's of this get situation. Out of here. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Can um, you let go of this corpse? I, I can't move. I'm poisoned. Are you serious? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh, that was bad. That was uncomfortable, man. We gotta get out of here. A bickering elf. Ah, fleeing. <laughs> About, ooh. Even Did he cast it behind his back or something? Yeah, they do that. There was, in one of the uh, Shivering Isles Let's Plays, someone noticed that one of those little Groomite beaters like shot a fireball and went out his ass because he was turned around, but it's still like, yeah. goes. <laughs> he shot out a fireball. He shot out a fireball. He had too many Flaming Hot Cheetos. Those Groomite beaters, man. <laughs> Bad digestion. Here we go! He just died! What have we here? Yes! <laughs> you will dance, dance for me, little one. one. Yes, yes, you will! I will make, make your, your corpse dance! And, and then tear itself apart! Oh, oh no! She's good! Look at her! Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, it wasn't <laughs> a cool one hit like in the video. Yeah. Oh no, a headless corpse. Oh man, too many of those. It's our weakness. But it's probably summoned, right? So it can kill the conjurer. Right, yeah. Necromancers that ambush me have been defeated. I need to get wood for a staff and get back to Romanus Polis. Ah, oh, dead. Ah, oh, finally. <laughs> Free at last. Oh man. Noveni Othrin, the most famous character in all of the movie. Noveni Othrin. I'll make your corpse dance. Ooh, I love the purple light yeah, on the tombstone kind of thing. Very pretty. Very beautiful. Yes, what is it? What? Necromancers at the cave? You heard that Aretta. right. And Zorash are dead. I can't believe it. They've never been so bold before now. Always hiding in the shadows, staying away from the guild. What could have prompted this? I'll need to speak to the council about this. Delmar at the Kiranasium can help. Okay. Yeah, that's bad. I'm just this new new recruit. I'm an, uh, I'm an apprentice. I go to get my staff and I get attacked by like 10 necromancers. They should promote you just for that. Yeah, it makes Hogwarts look good. Yeah, really. <laughs> Troll in the dungeon. <laughs> Got nothing on the Arcane University. Hmm? Yes, yes, I'm sure you've got something exceedingly important to say. But the Apparently apprentices do not teach oh, themselves. Hey, sick burn. That. Good day. Those mage scholars, they think they know it all. I'm sorry, fellow Magister. Those are the guys, once you're the, the main, the top dog, whatever his name is, you can, uh, the Archmage, you can make these guys follow you around, but they die so quickly. This looks a lot like a building, this ro rotunda thing you're around in Oxford University. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Martina oh, Flora, God. Master Enchanter for the Mages Guild. Enchanting, isn't it? Delmar handles all staff in. Where's Delmar? He's taking a snooze. The face is man. Take care. I'm getting it. Okay. Um. <laughs> to wait for Delmar to get up. Yeah, she has a bad face. It's scary because all of the detail goes into that one area, so it's really it's right. glaring. You it's sort like, of see a lot of lines right by yeah. the by the lips and the furrowed brow and everything. And then their neck and their chest looks like just perfectly smooth. Yeah, even the hands and like the, the appendages and everything. I like the big eyebrows guy from the last episode. He was great. Kef... Fine greetings. That's like Kevlar or something? Kevlar? <laughs> I don't know. An ugly name for an ugly man. Ooh, a lot of soul gems. Hey, that was <laughs> nicely set out full of soul gems. Oh, here we are. Welcome to the Cairo Nasi. Oh, I love his outfit. Yeah, Enchant. Ah, yes. This is a big step for you, friend. With now, you'll need to decide what sort of staff you're looking for. Something that fits you and your abilities. Shall we begin? Enchanting staves can be a tricky business. Only certain spells will be truly useful to you, so I'll narrow it down some. Let's start with the school. Which appeals most to Destruction, you? Destruction, of course. Destruction, illusion, or mysticism? The, that Very finger well. of the mountain shocks yeah. You have three choices for what type of damage you'd like it to do. Shock. Fire, shock. frost, or shock. 
Your staff will let you wield the power of light. Lightning Mac. That's what I want. Lightning Mac. Right. I'll get to work. All right, cool. Cool. So he helps you construct your staff, or yeah. he helps uh, imbue it with the power? Yeah. I think we have to wait the day. Lots of waiting. Always. Welcome to the... Yes, it's all finished. It's in that cupboard back in the corner. Nice. Bye. What a great guy. A nice man. Cool. Mage's staff of shock. And a bunch of too. scrolls. Good morning. Man, I like being part of the Mage's Guild. Yeah, it is cool. It's nice to finally be in, you know? I have a new task for you. Uh, of course you do. In accordance with guild rules. Journeyman. Now, the council is investigating what happened at Wellspring Cave. There is a related book that needs to be recovered. It was recently loaned to Janice Hasseldor. Janice Hasseldor. I understand this may not seem the most important of tasks, but still, a note of caution. Skingrad is an unusual place. Was Janice the vampire? Yeah, he's cool. This Skingrad guy that you like? Yeah, he's badass. This is why I like him this mission. He's just very, uh... Down to business shooting guy. Let's equip our new Look at us, we got damn things spindly everywhere. We're very spindly. Yeah. <laughs> we've got this claw kind of staff, we've got this crown going all over the place. Yeah, it's really weird looking. It's creepy. <laughs> like we've found our look. Yeah, the creepy spindly <laughs> tendrils. Spindly Mac. Spindly Mac. What? The scared guy behind me. <laughs> Don't hurt me. The big doe doe eyes. I'm afraid that's not my arena. You'll have to speak. Ah. All right. The, yes, the Major's Guild, you say? Oh, the Count is quite aware of your presence here. He simply has no interest in granting you an audience at this time. Now that I've seen you myself, wow. Damn. I can't say that I... What a dick. Nevertheless, I shall endeavor to change his mind on the subject. I am Sher Goroth, my friend. We've waited, we've waited two days in the last two minutes. Yeah, I am Sher Goroth, my friend. It would be cool if you could sometimes use that to your advantage, like... other statuses you have in different guilds and stuff. But yeah. If it paid off in more than just that quest at hand. You there. I have an update for you, Mercador. The Count has agreed to see you. He wishes to meet you north of the cursed mine outside of town. After 2 a.m. bike locks. It would be wise of you to be on time. Follow the road west out of yeah. Skingrad. Yes, you. Arthur, get out of here. <laughs> we can't talk here. Too public. Meet me behind the great Look at the hair, I night. love it. Don't let anyone I'm meeting follow someone you. else at a weird place I'll at a weird time right now. While. Right, get out of here before you... I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what an awkward situation. Two clandestine <laughs> meetings in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, there we go. Clark's <laughs> here. <laughs> Just in time. I'm afraid I'm... Trying to kill you? Yeah. I didn't get to see why. He's, part of the, he's with the necromancers. Die! Oh. Oh, that's satisfying that you get to kill the guy who was a dick to you. Yeah. Without even knowing you. You impossible fool. What possessed you to think I would suggest a meeting? Yeah, I thought it was a little oh, suspicious. Please. At least your gullibility served some useful purpose. I knew about Makeda, but not his friends. Now none of them are a threat any longer. Do you not recognize a necromancer when you see one? I suspected Makeda was involved in their cult, but was unwilling to move against him without knowing the identities of his allies. Despite what your council may think, I've not thrown in with the necromancers and would never do so. You may pass along that message. Yeah, but you're a vampire. Is that so? Hmm. Perhaps your counsel has not been entirely honest with you. Do you really believe they sent you here for a book? 
No, they sent you here to spy on me. They've heard the same rumors I have about the. It's like the Jedi Academy Don't sending to Anakin spy to spy the on dealings. Palpatine. <laughs> the Chancellor's dealings. You remember the exact <laughs> verbiage. Mitchell, but the next time they want something from me, they come themselves. They don't send someone under. They made you do something Texas. dishonest, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. They made you feel. I forget what he says. No. They made you do something that made you feel dishonest or something. Yeah. We re watched the prequels recently. They made you spy. They made you spy on me, didn't they? Yes, I see that now. I regret that Traven has involved you in I this way. I don't know what to say. At least you've survived. For now. Perhaps in the future you can be trusted enough to deal with more serious matters. I just dealt matters. with a serious matter. Now our Castle business door. here is concluded. I suggest you return to your council. It's cool though. I mean, I killed all these guys, but if you, you struggle with them, he like helps you fight them. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I mean, that's appropriate as right, well. Right, right. He employed a necromancer <laughs> yeah. as like a high member of his court. Yeah. He ought to kill him himself. Hey, let's level up now. Alright. Take a little nap. Perfect place to go to bed. It's not like a bedroll in a cave yeah, for some bandits for that we killed. <laughs> Sweet. Intelligent Mac. That'll help with our um, magic. Yeah. Not his eyes. Have you been to Skingrad and seen Count Hasseldor? Saved you, did he? Well, that's a good uh, sign. I yeah, must better. apologize. It was you never better the apologize to the Count. put you in harm's way. Archmage Traven feared that sending a high-ranking official with the guild might draw too much attention. We were also concerned that it might drive any necromancers in the area underground. The Count's unique nature is not public knowledge. The Council wishes to keep it that way. At the time, it was believed that there was no reason to inform you since it was not crucial to the task you were given. Lying to For me. For that reason, I was unable to disclose more about his true identity to you. Clearly, that <clears throat> judgment was in error. I apologize. We simply wanted to survey the situation in Skingrad. Our relationship with Hasseldor is tenuous at best. The Council has agreed to keep his nature a secret, and in exchange, all right, all right, he occasionally... Right. <laughs> as a vampire, yeah. the Count has few allies. He has disguised right, his I nature for most. Yeah, what's the... But can, what is he supposed to do? Like, that file down his under teeth? A great deal of <laughs> Wear contacts every day. The it's Count like does not agree with, with certain policies yeah, the guild has established. It's not quite that simple. After all, he is right, ruled over Skingrad yeah, for yeah, quite some guy. time without Weird. incident. We feared Hasseldor may have been involved Racist. with the necromancers. Yeah, they are. <laughs> At least not for the moment. Because he's a vampire. We will continue to. He has no history of that kind of thing. But I assure you, we will make yeah, no further better. attempts to mislead you. You have done your job right. admirably. I don't feel good about spying your on your services to I'm the guild. I'm a spell drinker, anyway. Are you ready, I'm ready for it? I'm not Very ready well. To hear you. Give There's me a research five more project paragraphs. going on at one of the alien ruin sites on the eastern side. Okay. Reminus, cut it out. <laughs> we gotta get to work. Erlog should be waiting. You're about Vatican, are you? It's a damn shame. The last report I received from Scalil indicated there was some sort of problem, a blocked passage or something. That they... I'd investigate it further, but I'm needed here with the council. Look into it for me, will you? So we get to go to the Vatican. <laughs> I and uh, the Vatican's like a magical excavation. The Vatican, though, is where the Pope lives. Right. Well, yeah. So what is this? It's spelled differently. It's just a. Uh, it's another like, you know, ruin site. It's uh, mm -hmm. I think it's alien ruin. Because there was a magical excavation in. In Skyrim. Majors. Yeah, there's Skyrim. Yeah, that was fun. It's a recycled. That one was more exciting and like cinematic. Yeah, I remember you had the old guy like talking and leading the class as he went yeah. along. This is just, you know, oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> Mac on his lonesome. No, we, we don't pick flowers <laughs> unless we have to. Vatican, yeah. Vatican. Hopefully it's pronounced. It's Vatican. 
It's Vatican? Yeah, it's, <laughs> they kind of say Vatican, but Vatican. It's, they could have come up with a different... It's the same yeah, word. Yeah, it was a bad decision. <laughs> Here, here's Pope Francis is in here somewhere. We've got a torch, <laughs> and he'll be voiced by Wes Johnson. <laughs> you are here to receive the body of Christ. <laughs> you have business here. Erlov sent you, did he? He can't be bothered to come check on his own project. Yeah. No offense to you, friend. It's not your fault. If you can Scalio. figure out like how. A rapper or something. Yeah. yeah. The pillar. All right, so there's this weird magical pillar. I needed to activate it by shooting it with different spells. What a waste of my um, talents! At the right time, or in the right sequence. Okay. I forget what the sequence is. I like that door. Yeah. Is there some sort of clue in here as to the sequence? There's this guy down here that's working on it, and you sort of like figure it out with him. Also, the book I just took. Oh, okay. clues. Be careful in here. Sent you in to try your hand at the thing, have they? I don't know how much Scalil told you. We know that it reacts to magic, but every time we've tried, the thing shocks whomever cast the spell. It hasn't been fatal for anyone yet. But we stopped trying after the first few attempts. I can tell you, it really oh, hurts. The only thing we haven't figured out is the markings. If we had some sort of reference, something to compare them to, we might. Scalil might have a book that would be you. I think it just. Did I take the wrong one? I don't know. Anything that might help explain. I don't know why Dental is Dental. even trying, but fine. If he wants it, he can have it. Oh, she had it on her person, okay. What a oh. waste of my talents. It is kind of a waste of her talents to sit by the door holding a torch <laughs> doing nothing. She should be down there helping. She's wasting her own talents. Yeah. God, it, I really get sick of the do-nothing nature of the other characters in video games. Yeah. Be careful. What? Oh, all the audio stopped in unison. I don't know if I'll try to... <laughs> that was so eerie. Yeah, was I really felt like he was actually watch. talking to me personally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything cuts out. You're yeah. the one with the book. You Those tell me how man. it works. Creepy shit. Be careful. What? You got the book, eh? Good for you. I tell you what. I'll take the book, and then if you can read me the inscriptions, I'll see if I can right, find cool. the translation. Take the book. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Stone's not. Stone's not. No, it's not. Av molag an yamis. Magica something. Magica siya. Magica loria. And finally, I'll wait, my friend, okay. <laughs> Should be Latin since this is the Vatican. Yeah, it is. <laughs> be careful okay. in here. Is there one that you didn't look at? Yes. Yes. Okay. According to this, it translates to from fire, life. Okay, so the Molag, uh, molten uh, fire, right? Yeah. Mafre seems to translate to frost. It's so frost. It means magica shines. And taken in context with the other inscription about magica darkening, perhaps there's an alternate translation. If we assume it means magica waxes, then a spell increasing magica okay. might be what we need. <laughs> Something that fortifies right. it, perhaps. It means magica darkens. Considering the other inscription, it could be translated to mean magica wanes, along with magica waxes. Perhaps a spell that. Um, so, Sia, fortify magic, Gloria, get rid of magic. Molog is fire, Mafra is frost. Yeah. This is kind of exciting, don't you think? No! Summon golden sand. I'll just use my golden sand. That'll do the trick. <laughs> Always does. Um, 
You've gotta have some kind of frost spell. I think there's spells in this little chest over here. That would be helpful. Minor wounds. Take the spoon, of course. Ah, yes. This one means heal minor wounds. Cold touch. Alright, I'm gonna save before I try this anymore, because you can mess it up and then I won't have the spell anymore. So you can screw yourself. Oh shit, that's not good. Yeah. Either. So you did the fire one. I'm gonna do the cold one. Alright, seemed to work. Fortify, Majika. Fuck! Why does that not work? Did it ruin it? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, 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 save. Ooh, man. Oh, wait, it's closing. Gah! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that hurt me a lot. Yeah, it um, did. He told you it hurts a lot. <laughs> okay, I don't know what. I feel like we tried that before. It's working now. Alright. What, the same spell that you just tried? Yeah, I did damage magicka and then I did, uh... Ooh, look at the beautiful... It looks like the the Lord of the Rings. There's, like, a glowing tree on a door leading to a cave in the Lord yeah. of the Rings. Let's do this cave. Ooh, creepy! Look at that thing. Ectoplasma That was so easy to get. <laughs> ben Kenobi. <laughs> Get him. Alright. Easy enough. <laughs> Sneeze. It's the light. The it light. Is, yeah. We got a lot of light on us right now. Blood. Oh! oh <laughs> I like how it sounds like. Look guts. at the jam up there. That's a <laughs> soul jam. It hurt me as soon as you said that. It, ah! Whoa. Holy crap! Son of a bitch. It's Those the were soul gem turrets. Very threatening. All right, we'll make sure to avoid the soul gem turrets. Magica Celia. Magica Gloria. Vatican's secret. It was those same spells, but it didn't work before. Yeah, I don't know. I think you, it looked like it was closing to you, and you just restarted it. Maybe. I'm pretty sure. All right, let's run through this thing. Holy crap. <laughs> Watch out for that. Magica C. <laughs> Magica C. The ultimate enlightened mage. Yeah. Kill the dude. Magica Gloria. Whoa! That was sick! <laughs> gonna die up here again. The Chad Mac and the Virgin Ghoul. <laughs> I'm strafing, I'm serpentining. Okay! Whoa. Go, 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 go! Virgin Garcia! Okay. Oh man, that was so <laughs> sick with the backflip. Ah! Whoa, go, go! <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. Man, you speed running through it. It's, it's like so mirror's cool. edge now. Save right here. Okay. Love Before you. we get any further. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Something's moving. Ooh, stairs. from the nutcracker when the tree grows. Yeah. That was so cool. Um, we're like Indiana Jones now. Get the wow, artifact. Wow, yeah. Down. Where's the boulder? I found an object deeper than the Vatican. Ooh, the ghost. Do you have to kill this guy? How'd you just do that? <laughs> <laughs> it's pathetic. They make him look so cool and formidable. Now she can see him. <laughs> and they're instantly dead. Uh. <laughs> I like how you say that before you cast a spell. Oh, Got to. It gives it its magic. Oh yeah, it doesn't work otherwise. <laughs> All right. Wonderfully done. <laughs> These worthless layabouts. Go ahead, please. Okay. Go ahead, you're fudging this over. Do you realize what just happened? <laughs> Magic Garcia. <laughs> Get rid of that, that dude. Oh man. 
What's that you have there? That looks important, whatever it is. I think you've really found something. Everyone treats no, you like such an idiot in this thing. Yeah, I mean, in our file, I guess it's justified. But in our file, it's as soon as possible. You'll want the mages there to this examine it more closely. Oh, you got the thing? Good for you. Let me have that. Be on your way. And it's like, it's they're not they're not treating you like an idiot because they're any better than you. Right. They're a bunch of idiots who yeah. don't do anything. Your character does everything, and they still treat you like an idiot. Yeah. Hello, evil. Goodbye, Evoker. <laughs> only abrupt noises. You. What's this? Some sort of alien artifact? So. That's well, right. well. Romanus was right in sending you out there. <laughs> Good work. Go Be seeing you. Good work, at Vatican. Jorol is quite pleased with the information now coming in about the site. There is another predicament which I believe you can also help resolve, if you feel yeah. ready for it. I need my groceries bought and brought to me. <laughs> yeah, that's the face of a guy. Yeah. He's ready to have Mac get his groceries for him. All right. Excellent. You have become most reliable. Yeah, more and reliable sure than you. you. Go to it. fries and pick up some now, beans from me. <laughs> In order to deal with some the fresh asparagus. problem of necromancy. It's not exciting, serial, but it needs doing. Yeah, right. It needs <laughs> as much information as possible. The mystic archives have been consulted with minimal success. Guild members are investigating other avenues, but I believe more can be learned here. Okay. I'd like you to speak with Tarmina at the mystic archives. I believe we have been asking her the wrong questions, taxing her too much with vague attempts to make sense of all that we know. Speak with her specifically her about on. these black soul gems, if she knows anything about their powers are creation. An insight into their origins may lead us to Human those souls. who are responsible. If you know now what to ask her, why don't you just go ask her? Ooh, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, Raminus Polis sucks. He's a bad leader. Her expertise. Yeah. He's, he doesn't reveal enough information to you about what you're you supposed to do. Yeah, he really doesn't. All right, Report guys. Back your... Well, All right. that was pretty good. Was Raminus, pretty... you can take back your stupid robes. Get, take these robes, get the hell robes. out of here. Come on, do your own, do your own work, here, take get out of here, get the hell out of my face. That was a pretty, yeah, it was, this was a good one, it was fun. Um, yeah, it was kind of cool, Indiana Jones. We get to talk to our old friend Tarmina. <laughs> she was the one that um, helped us out with the uh, Mythic Dawn commentaries in the very beginning. Oh yeah. She helped us like uh, code crack or whatever. Um, she was cool. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the Two Brothers Let's Play that we're doing as yeah, well. Yeah, uh, those are great. Selection yeah, check those out if you haven't. That is a... Uh, it's sort of a breath of fresh air, and it, it helps to sort of give us new insight into Oblivion, actually. I was sort of more excited to play this than, than past episodes, because I've been playing lots of Two Brothers and whatnot. Now it's, it feels like it's been more time, more time has passed since we've done one of these. So yeah, it's really, it's really nice, and um, yeah, I enjoy them, so I hope you guys do too. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, and I'm, uh, just in case you haven't seen it, I play it as well. Yeah. So you each uh, each half of the controller controls one brother, and so Emmett and I have been playing it so that we're, we're each holding like that. It's so like, you're like you're here. Yeah, we're like yeah, this. We do it like that. It's re it's, it's kind of ridiculous, weird. but it's fun for me to play. Yeah, and it's we we've done well so far <laughs> yeah. like that. I mean, I we didn't die really. Yet. Only I have died because I just keep falling off of. Like, I haven't the, died. Yeah, <laughs> got it. Gotta say. Yeah. Thank you fun. as yeah. Thank you as well to all our patrons, of course, uh, for all your support. Merry Christmas to all of you. Yeah, I hope and you all have good holidays. Yeah. Um, new fan art, as always, so we'll show some of that as well. There's been some really, really sweet cool. fan art. Yeah. Thank you, guys. You seriously. guys you guys have... Uh, yeah, just uh, it's been more than usual, I feel like, lately. I just see it pop up. You don't even say anything. You just, like, you know, tweet it out to us. And that's super cool. So, yeah, keep it coming. Yeah, um, we're always checking Reddit and Twitter. Yeah, videos. and I use it I use it for thumbnails constantly, so that's helpful <laughs> as well. Thank you. It very um, much is. Yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Take care. I'm getting out of here.